Welcome back to another episode of Echoes of Today. Today, we dive into a moment from the recent U.S. presidential debate that has taken the Internet by storm. The phrase, they're eating the dogs, has not only sparked outrage, but also a whirlwind of misinformation. Let's unravel the truth behind this viral moment. During the latest presidential debate, former President Donald Trump made a shocking claim that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, were eating dogs and cats. This statement quickly became the most talked-about moment of the debate, with reactions ranging from disbelief to outright laughter. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. But where did this claim come from? It turns out the origins of this statement are rooted in a baseless conspiracy theory that had been circulating online. The theory suggested that Haitian immigrants were abducting and eating pets in Springfield. However, local officials and the Springfield Police Department have repeatedly debunked these claims, stating there have been no credible reports or specific incidents of pets being harmed by the immigrant community. To get a clearer picture, Springfield's mayor, who expressed his frustration over the spread of such harmful misinformation, was interviewed. We're here to address recent rumors that have been circulated related to our Haitian community. We wish to clarify that we uh, have not been able to verify any credible reports or specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. The claim seems to have originated from a post in a private Facebook group, where a user recounted a fourth-hand story about a neighbor's cat being butchered by Haitian immigrants. This post, however, was not backed by any evidence and was quickly dismissed by authorities. Despite the lack of evidence, the claim gained traction, especially among certain conservative commentators. Trump amplified this narrative during the debate, which led to widespread media coverage and public scrutiny. In the days following the debate, Trump shared a misleading video on social media, attempting to justify his claim. The video showed a woman in Canton, Ohio, who had been arrested for animal cruelty. However, this incident was unrelated to the Haitian immigrant community and was another example of misinformation being used to support a false narrative. This episode highlights the importance of fact-checking and the dangers of spreading unverified information. As we move closer to the election, it's crucial to stay informed and critical of the sources we trust. Thank you for tuning in to Echoes of Today. Stay safe, stay informed, and we'll see you next time.